Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are going to decorate a full table escape for the first time in our dining room in our new house. For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Cindy from Inspiration by CP where I share home decor, home organization, cook with me and much more. We recently moved and I want you to come along with me so we can style this house and make it a home. And before we start, I want to invite you to my friends Gladys channel where you're going to find a lot of inspiration from home decor, home organization, just like in this channel. I know that you're going to love her content and I'm gonna leave you all her information down in the description box. Her home is just beautiful. She shares how to live a clutter-free and minimalist lifestyle. She's such an inspiration. So I wanted to show you guys some footage of the empty dining room when we first moved. So I haven't done anything to this room just yet. I need to order a credenza. I need to change the curtain rods and probably paint this chandelier because I like it, but not the color that much. So tell me in the comments if I should leave it like that or definitely add a touch of gold. So the first items that we're going to add to this table is this light rattan placemats. I have it for a while and I found it at Home Goods for an incredible price. This will add texture and dimension to our table escape. Followed by our charger plate. It's not necessary to use both, but it adds layers to your table and it really looks really nice. Next is my blue and white chinoiserie dinnerware, which I love. For this year, I wanted to decorate with the traditional orange color and add blue and white. So tell me in the comments, what colors are you using this year? Are you using traditional colors or are you adding a different pop of color? If it's your first time here, my name is Cindy. I do all things home decor, all things family. And if you are returning, I'm so happy you are joining me today. Let's add our flatware, knife and spoon on to the right, and forks to the left. I'm impressed with the, the quality of this flatware. I got it at Amazon. I have it for almost a year. And I will leave all the, the links down in the description box for you guys. You dance and the moment comes when I fall. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you are pretty excited about the fall season. For our napkin rings, I'm going to use this pretty golden ivory pumpkin rings that I bought at Home Goods back in August. To get started with the centerpiece, I'm going to be using this leaf garland because I want to create sort of a glam pumpkin patch. I really don't remember where did I buy this. I have this for years, you guys. But you can find this even at the Dollar Tree and the quality is really nice. So one of the items that I'm so excited about is this pillow pumpkin in this gorgeous blue and white fabric. 
So before I sold this online at the at-home store, I bought the fabric to do a DIY fabric pumpkins, but with the moving process, I did not get the chance to make them. So I saw these beauties online and I fell in love. They had two sizes and guess what you guys, they were out of stock. I did not have an at-home store near me at all. So the first week that we moved, I searched the stores that are near me and I have an at-home at 10 minutes away from my house. I was fortunate enough that I found three of them. And just to make the middle one a little bit higher from the other two, I'm just going to add this piece of a cake stand. I believe these are the 10 inch for $12.99. So pretty. If you saw my Hobby Lobby shop with me video for fall, then you saw that I bought a few of these cute velvet pumpkins. They had it in three colors, orange, cream, and green. So one of my favorite hacks for any holiday table escape, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas, is to set the table weeks or a few days before the event. This way I'm not stressing about it, I take my time, I can get creative, because this is the fun part of hosting any type of event. So definitely set up your table or at least do the centerpiece, that way you're not stressing about it. As you can see here, we're starting to fill in the gaps with the small pumpkins. And I'm using my DIY decoupage pumpkin as well. I have a tutorial on this, you guys. This is so therapeutic. This is so relaxing to do. And the end result is so pretty. I am loving this table escape. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think so far? And now for the final touches, I'm going to add these pigs, some roses and some pampas grass. I wanted to incorporate the pampas grass because that just screamed fall to all of us and it matches perfectly with my placemats. And also it softens a little bit our centerpiece. Sure, play full and free, but I don't care in the world. I was one rich Fall is the start of a magical season. It's the end of the year where family and friends have gatherings more often when we travel on a special November day just to share a meal with one another and to give thanks for our many blessings. So this is truly a magical and wonderful season. And for the romantic vibe, I'm using my gold votive candle holders around this pumpkin patch. If you guys haven't already, check out my Instagram account at Inspiration by CP to see all the inspiration of the core I have there. You see everything there before you see it here. So for the holidays, I usually keep the food off to the side. I usually set up an area for our turkey and our side dishes. So if I don't decide on a credenza by then, I will set up the entrees on the butler's pantry that is right next to the dining room. Okay guys, that is it for our table escape. I just love how everything turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot wait to share with you guys the process of making this house a home. Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. That way I know that you were here. Enjoy this enchanted season and show a lot of love to your family and friends. Have a blessed holiday and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.